I'm Talisa, I'm a slime creator, and I make videos across the web to teach people how to make slime and also show all the really cool things you can do with it. I have a few slime things that we need to get out of the way before, just some health and safety requirements to make sure that everyone at home is playing with slime safely. If you have broken or irritated skin, make sure you ask your mum and dad before using slime just to make sure it's okay, and then they can help you out if you get an adverse reaction to it. It's also really important to remember to keep this out of reach of children and pets, and also don't use it on surfaces where food is prepared, just because we don't want cross-contamination. PVA glue is the base of all slimes and it comes in two formats, clear and white. White glue is what most people commonly use because you can add lots of extras to it. Contact lens solution is paired with bicarbonate of soda to pull the mixture together to create a semi-solid when poured in glue. When you've decided your base texture, you can then add accessories such as air dry clay, beads, pigments and scents. For a more basic slime, people use a mix of foaming hand soap and body lotion as a base and this creates a relaxing clicking sound. Let's make some slime! So first off we're going to be making clear slime and the base for this is a clear glue. They normally come in small bottles like this and it's really essential to have a clean bowl for this because this picks up so much dirt. After you've poured in the glue, we're going to grab some contact lens solution. And we need to pair this up with bicarbonate of soda. But what I like to do is squirt a little bit of solution and then add a tiny, tiny pinch of bicarbonate of soda over it. And the bicarbonate of soda just helps to speed up the process and pull everything together a bit quicker. It's quite a gradual process, so it isn't something that happens instantly and you can't really tell how long it's gonna take. It differs each time, just depending on how strong your concentration of the solution is. Another tip with clear slime is that if you find it's really sticky, I recommend stirring it for longer because this acts differently to white glue for some reason. Another tip I have is to go really gradually with this because I find that clear slime activates really suddenly. It goes really, really sticky and it looks like it's not gonna to pull together and then before you know it, it becomes really rubbery. And I find that it's good to leave this a tiny bit sticky because clear slime inflates a lot, so it traps a lot of air bubbles. And when it deflates, all the air bubbles will take away a bit of the looseness, so the slime will become really thick. When the slime gets sticky like this, you can tell that it's almost ready. And like you can see, it went from being a really gooey mixture to not sticking to the spatula at all. And at this stage, you go in with your hands and it's essential they're clean. And all we want to do now is knead the slime. And this is just going to help pull it together. And then if any of the concentrated solution is stuck in any part of the slime, then it just mixes it all together so we can know the true texture. And as you can see, it's already getting less sticky the more I'm playing with it. But the slime isn't as clear as before, and this is simply because there's lots of air trapped in it. So this is what the slime should look like after around four days to a week of clearing up. 
and it needs so long just because there's so many air bubbles in it and the air bubbles then rise to the top and disappear and the solution becomes clear again. You may find it's a tiny bit sticky, but it takes a lot less time to clear up after it's gone through the process once and then it should be ready to click. Just keep it at room temperature for four days. It doesn't need to be in the fridge because then it can harden up and it takes a while longer for the air bubbles to clear. To accessorize your clear slides, the most common thing to do is add pigment. And you only need a tiny bit of this, but I like to add a lot because it looks really pretty. The clearer that your slime is, the more obvious the pigment is and the more it can shine through. But right now, as you can see, this has gold undertones, but it has pink overtones and this looks so, so pretty and it's almost a color shift. If you find your slime's a tiny bit sticky after clearing up, you can just go in with a tiny bit more contact lens solution until it no longer sticks. I'm Ruby and I'm Rayleigh. On my YouTube channel Ruby Rose UK I do lots of slime and I do lots of fun reviews you should definitely go check it out. And on our joint YouTube channel Ruby and Rayleigh we do challenges, vlogs and slime videos. So let's get started. So now we're going to be making birthday cake slime which is a really nice fluffy slime with foam balls in to make it look like a birthday cake. We're going to be using two different types of foam beads today. We are using small multicolored ones and some big multicolored ones and these will make different textures for our birthday cake slimes. So the first thing we're adding is our white glue. I think I'm going to have to add a bit more than you because I've got quite big foam balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks so stringy and cool. It does look cool. Especially when you shake it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next thing we're going to add is some baby oil, and we haven't used this yet, so basically what this does is it makes it really soft and smooth, and mm -hmm. maybe you get to do the charm. Yeah. It will also make the slime appear more glossy and shiny, so you can go first. <laughs> that much? Okay. When it's fully mixed, it reminds me of like whipped cream. Yeah, it does. Or icing. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to add the activator. Okay. So you want to add the activator bit by bit because you really don't want to overactivate this. Yeah. And for foam slime in particular, you do want it to be quite sticky, otherwise, the foam beads will not stick into your slime. And I noticed the shaving foam um, makes it activate really fast as well. Mm -hmm. That's because it contains bicarbonate of soda, which also helps slime activate. This feels like shaving cream, like, literally does. Yeah. But it feels quite airy. They look so white, like snow. And it is like snow. It doesn't feel like snow. <laughs> the snow is like fake snow. <laughs> mm -hmm. The slime should be sticky, but it should be able to come off your hands as well. It shouldn't still be glue. Yeah, if it's liquid, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so we are both ready to add our foam balls now. I'm going to add them. 
in here, but I want to pull the phone balls in and pull the slime over. Ready? Oh, there's one or two beads already in there. <laughs> oh, and a few of my beads. <laughs> a basic clicky slime and this is made with a white glue base. We're going to start by pouring around 8 ounces worth of glue into our container. And then I like to add, you can use any lotion for this, but I like to add about 5 pumps of this. And then my key ingredient is always foaming hand soap and this just makes the mixture a bit more fluffy and it always smells really nice as well, so it's really easy to kind of scent it without having to buy a scent. As you can see, this really froths up the mixture a lot, and it looks a lot more watery than it was before, but as soon as we start adding activator, it's all going to work. Next up, I'm just going to go ahead and add some colouring to this, and I'm going to make this a blue slime. Drop it in there. Once everything's all mixed in, I then go in with my contact lens solution. And you want to add this gradually just to not overactivate it. And you want to add a tiny, tiny bit of baking soda. This only needs to be a pinch. And then we can stir it up. As you can see, it should start pulling away from the sides like this. And I know it kind of goes back to gooey, but that's how we know it's working. So we just want to go ahead and add some more contact lens solution. I'm adding in loads here, just because I know it needs it. For some reason, with white glue slimes, I always find they go a bit lumpy before activating fully, and this is a sign that it's really close to getting activated. With contact lens solution, because you're squirting it all over the place, some parts are becoming hard instantly and the under parts aren't, which is why it's kind of pulling away in a weird fashion. But once you take it from the bottom up, which is how I recommend stirring it, it really mixes it together so that when you touch it, it isn't too sticky for you to hold. And then again, just add a pinch of baking soda. If you add too much, this can overactivate it really quickly. And as you can see, this turns it into slime so, so quickly. Now you just want to keep stirring until it fully pulls away from the sides. really nice clicks but it's a tiny bit thin so if you want it slightly thicker all you need to do is add a tiny bit more contact lens solution and the tiniest tiniest pinch of baking soda and this will just thicken up the whole mixture and make it super holdable
Next up, we're gonna be making a cloud slime and the two essentials for this is instant fake snow, which you're gonna add some water to, and then it fluffs up a lot and it kind of looks like this. So we're gonna start by adding it gradually. I like to sprinkle it all over the top and this looks like a lot at first, but when it's mixed in, it really isn't. And as you can see, this is instantly softening my slime. It's becoming a lot looser and I think this is mainly because it's a water-based slime, so it's kind of, I guess, like melting it down a tiny bit. And then you just want to go ahead and just pick up all the excess snow you've dropped off the table because this is going to need so much snow. As you can see, the texture's already changing. It's becoming a lot looser and it's so fun to see transform. If you see some of the snow sitting on top, but it isn't absorbing, you just want to go ahead and squish it up into the slime just so it gets a tiny bit more absorbed. And then you want to dip the slime back into the excess on the table. It's Ruby and Rayleigh. Really. Today we're going to be making slime. The first slime that we're going to be making is glitter slime. And the things that you'll need are glitters, glue, preferably clear, an activator bottle, a bowl, and a spoon. The activator that we're using is Borax that we bought from Amazon, and it meets the EU safety regulations. So the first thing we're going to add is our clear glue. Okay. So like all of it can get to the bottom. So now we're gonna choose our glitter colours. So I'm gonna start with this, I think. Okay, we're gonna choose from this thing first. Okay, I'm gonna add this like shiny white one. Okay. So I think I want to add some of this glitter as well, so which one do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to add some of the white. Okay, so am I, so you can add it first. I'm not sure. So now we're ready to mix it, and this is like my favourite part. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty. Mm -hmm. I like your colour. Like, so with clear slime, it's best not to mix it too much because it'll get quite cloudy and it won't be as clear. So if you can mix it as minimal as possible. But even if you do mix it and when you add the borax or your activator, it will go cloudy anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to activate mine now. Yeah? Let's add the activator. When you add your activator, especially if it's borax, it's best to add little bits at a time because then you're not going to make it really hard. If you add too much, then it will be stiff and it will not stretch. Ours is already cloudy. <laughs> early enough, then it will just be stiff when you start moving it. Mm -hmm. So we have now activated our slimes, but we want them to be even more colourful. So we are going to add some more glitter. Yes, yeah. we're going to use these. Mm -hmm. Okay, which colour do you want? I'm going to add this blue. I will add the bright purple. <laughs> okay. Another one, one more? Yeah? Okay, which colour do you want to do? Um, I'll do the star pink. Okay, I'll add a bit of your blue. <laughs> that looks like a mermaid. 
Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Right, now we're gonna mix it in. Oh wow, this is way mystery. It is. Next up, we're going to be making a buttery clay slime, and we need to start off with a really sticky, clicky base. After we've done this, we can add it to our table, and I think I'm going to add two colors to this, starting off with this turquoise. My main reason for adding clay to a sticky base is the clay really hardens the texture up, so we don't want it to dry out and be too tough to play with. I'm also going to be adding this pink one just to see what color it makes, because this is so bright, I think it will be really pretty. As you can see, the colors are merging together and they look so pretty. They're creating a lighter pink than I thought they would. It kind of looks like a bubblegum swirl at the moment. If you want to soften up your slime because the clay's made it a bit too tough, you can go ahead and add a tiny bit of lotion. I like to add about four pumps and I fold it into it, kind of like a sandwich, and then it will start squirting out, but then you just have to fold it in and it will soften it up. One of the most important ingredients for Jelly Cube Slime are magic erasers. So these are cut up magic erasers. Our mum cut them up for us because you don't want to get hurt and you want Paris supervision cutting them. We also have this magic eraser, which is not cut up. We also have clear glue here, baby oil, some activator, and some food coloring and glitter. But this is optional because we're using it just to make it look a bit more pretty. This one comes out quite quickly, so we don't need to take the lid off. I'm getting all of it. I'm not. It's not that much. Okay, so we're now going to add some baby oil. I'm not going to add a lot to mine because I don't want it to go yeah. too thin. So now we're going to mix them.
And now we're going to add our food colouring and our food colours. So which one are you going to do? I'll add the food colouring. Mm -hmm. And I'll add a bit of glitter first. So I'm going to add a silver glitter. So I'm going to, and I'm going to add a blue food colour. Are you going to want the silver glitter? Um, no, I'm fine. Okay. I'm just going to add two because I don't know how pigmented this is. I'm going to add some of the food colouring as well. I might add a bit of blue. I am also going to add a tiny bit of white to mine. I'm going for a snow theme. <laughs> I'll add a bit of white too. I'm going for winter, I guess. Yeah, we've both gone for winter themes. I'm not completely sure why. <laughs> Neither am I. Now we're ready to mix. So once you've mixed it, you may decide you want the colour to change or you want something a bit different. So for me, I'm going to add some more silver and Ruby added more white. Mm -hmm. So I might add a bit more blue too. Oh, it's so pretty. There's green in there as well. <laughs> oh, there's a bubble that just formed. There is a glitter one. So now we need to make this not gluey or watery, so we're going to add the activator in until we think it's ready to go with our hands. And I'm going to overactivate it a bit because this is very watery. Yeah, so if you're dealing with a very, very watery glue, then you might want to add a little more unusual activator into your slime because then it won't be as sticky and as jiggly. It will be less stretchy, but for me, I think it's better. These are so pretty. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> it's going cloudy now. <laughs> slime or mix it with clear glue it will go more airy and it will go not as clear but it will go down after days yeah it will turn clear after a few days <laughs> okay so our slimes are fully activated now and i'm so happy with the colors that's so pretty yeah same and i think we're gonna have a contest and see who can make the biggest bubble if we can make a bubble. <laughs> oh no. They kind of combined. Um, so I did my um, special. That almost hit me in the face. cubes to our jelly cube slime now and we know it's ready but it's still a bit sticky which is good because that means the slime will soak into your jelly cubes and make it very crunchy and our slime is slime and it's not glue anymore okay. so we can hold it and we can like play with it yeah so i think you should both just take like a handful so i think i'm just gonna pile them on top of my slime and then mix it in I'm gonna make a pyramid. I kind of failed at doing it. So you got one stuck in the slime though. I'm just gonna plop it on. Ah, uh, no, the 
pyramid's died. You ready? Yeah. So now we're gonna mix it in. Apparently when you do it, you go like... Yeah, it does kind of remind me of jelly. It does. <gasps> I just popped one. Mm -hmm. The noise is quite quiet that they make, but you can hear the air bubbles popping. I just put lace. <laughs> I like stretching it because the jelly cubes feel nice when you're playing with it yeah. as well. It's like super crunchy. Mm -hmm. The ultimate slime accessory is polystyrene flown balls and these come in an array of different colours and they are so fun to play with. They create nice crunches and also add a variety of textures in the slime. You can add this to clear slime which I'm going to be doing today or white slime. The clear slime tends to be a tiny bit crunchier but the white slime has a really nice texture. I'm going to start off trying to do it in a rainbow colour. We don't have a yellow so I'm going to start off with red. If they fall off the table, don't worry because so many of them stick in the slime. And I always like to finish off with some rainbow beads all around because these are so pretty and it pulls it all together. So what we have now is a clear slime with loads of foam beads in, but it's not super crunchy, it just has some texture in there. So to make it super crunchy, all we're gonna be doing is putting some more foam beads in. And they may fall out at first, but this is absolutely fine. It's just because your slime is a bit more activated. But if you leave it for a few days, it will melt down a bit and it will also get a lot clearer, so the colors will become clearer in it. Okay, so the next slime we're going to be making is fluffy slime, and the thing that makes it fluffy is the shaving foam. So the things you'll need is an activator bottle, some paint if you want, some glue, some foaming hand wash, and some shaving foam. So the first thing we're going to do is add the glue. Like that much. 
and then add the shaving foam and basically if you add too much then it will make it overactuated because it might make it a bit stiff but if you add the perfect amount then it will be nice foaming hand wash and I'm going to add four pumps. After that I normally mix all together. Once you've mixed it all in it should look like frosting. And then you add the colouring. I'm going to make pink, so this is not really a pink, so I'm just going to add some white to it to make it lighter. Now I'm going to mix it. which makes it really like smooth as well. slime my favorite thing to do is make it crunchy and the way to do this is to add the kind of weird things but they're bean bag fillers of all things and these are typically known as sugar or kind of not fishbowl beads but I would say crunchy slime beads so we're gonna start off with a clear glue and this is just a normal eight ounce bottle and with some slimes you want to mix clear glue before you add in anything. But I actually find to make the best crunchy slime, you want to add in everything before. So I tend to add a tiny bit of food dye. And then I add my beads. And I do this gradually because my main reason for this is adding some before keeps it in the slime, but then adding some after makes it really, really crunchy. And you can see how much the slime will hold without having all the beads fall out. We want to make sure all the food dyes mixed in and that we have enough crunchy beads for it to kind of feel textured but not so much that we can't see a layer of glue on the top because this means we've added too much so you want to go back in with some clear glue if this happens. 
Once everything's mixed in, we can just put our spatulas to the side and go in with some contact lens solution. And squirt a bit in there. And also some bicarbonate of soda. I also find that crunchy bead slimes activate a lot quicker than you think because they look really big, but a lot of it is made up with the beads. So you don't need to add activator any quicker. Just do it like you would a normal clear slime. And you may need to go in and knead it kind of earlier as well because it takes away some of the stickiness because it's kind of keeping the effort of holding the beads in. As you can see, this is already pulling together and I've only added one little batch. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a tiny bit more and then maybe take it out of my hands. As this is no longer sticking to the bowl or the spatula, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it. And I always find this reveals a really sticky layer in the center, so your hands get really gooey, but then it starts to mix all together and you get a mix of the hard slimes and the gooey and everything pulls nicely. If you find your beads are falling out, this probably means you've added a bit too many. So you just wanna add some clear slime to this and then it will fix it. When your slime's a little sticky but still holdable, you can then put it back in the bowl and start adding more beads. This is my favorite part because it adds a bit more crunch and it's so satisfying. At first, it may not look like the beads will hold in. But as you can see, the more you fold it, the bigger the slime gets and all the beads are held. Once I've got my excess beads off, you can then play with it on the table. And if you find beads are falling out, you can simply play with it over the bowl until they stop. And I find the fluffier you make this, the more you swirl it, the easier it is to keep the beads in. This also creates the nicest crunches when it swirls. It's one of my favorite slimes for that. So I'm just gonna move my bowl to the side now and create a nice big swirl. As you can see, the slime's almost doubled in size and that's just because of the beads and it makes it so much more fun to play with because you can stick both of your hands in it. When you've made lots of slimes, a really fun thing to do is mix them all together because slimes have different textures and obviously they have really different appearances too. So it's really fun to see what the colors make. So first up, I tend to add the ugly ones. So you got this bogey slime. Yum. <laughs> then we got this. This one's quite pretty actually. This gorgeous fluffy slime. Ooh, this one's really nice. It has some marshmallow beads in there.
My favorite thing about this is that you can add sticky slimes and also tough slimes and see what they make together. As you can see, the colors have marbled together and it's kind of created a bogey green color, but it's such a nice texture. It's kind of like a clay fluffy slime and I'm so in love with it. Look at that, so pretty. It's really weird because some of the slimes were wet, so there's some really tough parts that are like rock hard like this, and it opens like a whole new slime color. And then there's really sticky parts where you just have loads of gooey stuff. But my favorite parts are the parts that are marbled, and you just keep finding more and more colors when you rip it apart. So if you want to keep this slime, all you have to do is store it in an airtight container because if you leave it out, then it will dry up and become really crusty. But if you want to dispose of this, I recommend putting it in a carrier bag and then putting it in a bin with your parents' permission just so you know the right one to put it in and then you can get rid of it safely. So let's start adding all of these slimes. Let's add the jelly key parts. Mm -hmm. Oh, mine. So here are all of our slimes combined, well not combined yet, but in our bowl for our slime to be big. But there's so five cool. layers, that's so mm -hmm. cool, it's massive. Yeah, five different layers, it looks so cool. So it's going to be a very thick slime, you can't really tell. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to mix our slime smoothie together, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> wow. All oh. the colours. <laughs> I do not know what colour this is. Should we mix it on the table? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. Look at that pattern, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh. There are so many colours. So many different textures as well. See, this is my favourite point of the slime smoothie, where it's got all of these colours and then they're not mixed yet. Because the end colour is not, not as nice. Yeah, but looking at this, it's probably going to turn like maybe green. Yeah. That's must not be <laughs> The pink looks so pretty. Go, Tap. <laughs> <laughs> 